Alright guys, so before we get the video started, I want to talk to you guys about hitting 10k. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching the videos, for subscribing and everything, for sticking with me. Now that we hit 10k, I'm making a lot more videos. The video should get more interesting once we do the twin turbo on Dynaco. So I want to thank you guys for supporting me and everything. To give back something to you guys for hitting 10k, I'm going to be doing a cam kit raffle this is going to be a btr truck cam any stage you want stage one two three and four it's going to be a hundred spots uh, fifteen dollars a spot uh, you can buy as many spots as you want uh, you can buy one five however many you want once all the hundred spots are sold uh, we'll do the raffle there's only going to be one winner and that winner it gets to choose what stage he wants. He can choose one, two, three, or four. Once I choose a winner, I will order the cam. I can either deliver it to you or I can get it delivered to your house. But it's up to you and it's up to you what stage you want. And it's gonna be through Instagram. So you'll have to message me through Instagram. I'll put my Instagram right here. So you just gotta DM me on Instagram. I will be accepting payments through Zelle or PayPal and through PayPal you gotta put as uh, friends and family only if you don't do it like that you will get your payment refunded I will go on order on the messages so as I go through the messages and if I get to you and that number is sold already then you gotta pick another number or something I'm gonna go in order make it fair that's it so with that being said Let's get back to the video. Oh yeah, I bought the bug. Yeah, that bug. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be working on the truck. I did some stuff off camera. I'll show you guys right now. But what we're gonna be doing today is putting the fuel pump. Uh, I finally got a engine hoist to take off the bed because that was the only thing holding me back for besides getting help or other people to help me take it off. But I done it like that before and I should I shouldn't need help. So we'll see if we're able to do it. I'm gonna turn the truck around in a little bit. That way I can take off the bed here and then if I need to leave it off for like the night or something, I don't have to leave it out there and I can just leave it in here already. A few things that I did, don't mind the jug. That's how I had to drive it because I don't have the return line hooked up to the tank yet. So I just have to have it here. The things that I did was put the fuel regulator on I ran the lines to the stock fuel rails and the fuel lines and then I also put this vacuum block just kind of split it right there on the vacuum hose right here and then pretty simple that's literally the only thing I done also one thing that I did that I left that on the last video was the fuel adapters so I already put them on you guys can see right here I already got the fuel injectors connected. Also, I did turn the truck on with the new fuel injectors and it's running way, way too rich. So I can't even drive it because it's just choking on gas. I might have to just kind of leave it here. I was hoping the fuel regulator would help, but it kind of doesn't. So, oh well, I guess I'll just continue installing parts until I'm ready to tune it on the twin turbo setup. But yeah, and it does sound a lot meaner with the new fuel injectors. I'll show you guys that once I start turning the truck around. All right guys, I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna double check for leaks. I already turned it off once and checked for leaks, but I didn't find any. So I'm still gonna double check again.
took all the bolts out. Two on each corner. I got two straps. I got the stronger one here, so at least if this one busts, this, I know that one won't. So we should be good with that one. So I'm just gonna put the hook right there on the middle. I got the engine hose ready. So just hook it up right there on the middle and then just pick it up. Two Jacksons, one over here, one over there. And I just got a subwoofer box on this side. That should do steady. Now we got the truck without a bed. Straight pipe. My seal is leaking on this, under my rear end. So I'm about to get that changed. So changing the fuel pump's gonna be pretty easy. You know, just pop your connectors off. Which they're probably gonna be hard because they haven't been disconnected in a while. So pop those off, pop these off, and then just take this little bracket off. Just hit it with a hammer or something, and then the fuel pump should come off. Alright guys, actually the next day. Uh, kind of stopped working on the truck yesterday because I got this yesterday. So I kind of stopped working on the truck to just kind of ride it, break it in. I still have to break it in, so I just have to like drive it, just put some hours on it. So that's what I was doing yesterday when I start working on the truck. But it's a 2020 Yamaha TTR 125 LE. It is a full stroke. I wanted a two stroke, but I mean, this will do for now. But yeah, guys, that's that. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish the fuel pump. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out right now and then tackle it, get it done. And then we'll see what happens after that. Oh yeah, I bought the bug. Yeah, that bug. I looked it up and it's a bug called, apparently they're known for making that loud noise to attract females. Nothing I can do about it. It is annoying. The way I like to take the bracket off is just you get a little extension and then you hit it right on this little grooves and then you just kind of turn it around until it comes off. Back in there, back in the tank. Alright, now we can take it apart. Alright, so taking it apart should be kind of easy. Just connect this. So I'm gonna be using these. They work pretty good. Just connect like that, and then it should pop, pop out. The fuel pump should come out through the bottom. Just like that. Also, this is the part number for it right there the fuel pump comes with this connection right here and then on the kit it comes with this like other connection that connects right to it just like that so what i'm gonna do and on this side it comes split so what i'm gonna do is cut the stock connection just cut it here and then just clamp these two to it and it'll still have a quick connection just like it did before all right guys so this is how it's gonna look once it's all done you got your fuel pump here 
a little loose on this one, but should be fine. You got your fuel line from the fuel pump to the top there where it's going to connect to the fuel line on the outside. Then you got your connection all the way to the original connection and that's literally it. That's all you need. So now we can go ahead and put it back. All right guys, so before we put the fuel pump back, I got to run the return line to the tank. I already ran it down over here through the frame and I got it under here somewhere somewhere under there so i think i decided to put the fitting on the fuel pump instead like i said earlier i was going to put it somewhere on the tank but I, I was looking at the pump and i don't know it seemed pretty easy to put it here just drill the hole there i didn't have to worry about dropping any shavings inside the tank or having to put a rag under it or anything so it was a lot easier and then you can see Pretty simple. Put the fit on top, so. And then I already got the line ran all the way from the regulator all the way to here. Just all the way along the frame. Got the 90 there ready. The same way you took it out, put it back in. Uh, everything connected, everything snugged in, all the clips, everything. It's still gonna run pretty bad since it's not tuned with the new injectors. We just gotta make sure everything runs smooth, no leaks or anything like that, nothing major. That way we can proceed on installing all the parts and everything. All right guys, so now that we got everything done, I just gotta make sure the fuel pump turns on and everything once I turn the key, so. Should be able to hear it. I'm not sure how loud this fuel pump is. So let's see. seems to work be working fine no fuel leaks uh, doesn't seem like it's a misfire or anything like that like running on seven cylinders or anything like that it's not knocking it's not making any weird noises fuel pumps working good seems like it I mean obviously it's running besides sounding like it needs a tune I think it was pretty good I think we're done for today that's gonna be it for today's video regarding the intro about the raffle so if you want to enter hit me up on instagram i'll put it right here and then also on the link in the description below tell your friends family whatever let, let them know about it see if they want to enter as well that's going to be it for today's video guys make sure to hit me up for the raffle i'll see you guys in the next video